Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. Today we'll be doing the Gala Model Question Paper Solution of English. Paper number 3, Section B. Firstly, we'll see the read the following words and answer the questions given below. Means the prose, uh, sorry, the poem comprehension for that. 13th question is, why does the poet wish to live with animals? The poet wished to live with animals because animals do not cry and complain over their conditions. They do not commit sins and therefore they do not weep for them. They are very satisfied creatures and have no desire to possess material things. Fourteenth question is, give another expression for they do not sweat and whine about their condition. So the answer is, it means that the animals never complain over their conditions and are satisfied creatures. Now, the next is select the correct figures of speech from the options given. Fifteenth question, has given my heart a change of mood? The answer is option number B, Sinek Doki. Sixteenth one, a noble wild beast greets you. It's option number A, personification. The next is answer the following questions that are the poem comp uh, question answers. Right, for that, seventeenth question is, what makes Walt Whitman sick? This question is taken from the poem Animals by Walt Whitman. In this poem, the poet admires animals for being better than human beings. The poet wishes to live with animals and to experience a life where no one complains and where everyone is free of sins and sorrows. The poet Walt Whitman feels sick when people start telling him their duties to God. The poet is perhaps of the view that people commit sins and then start telling about their duties to God, which is wrong. He does not believe in God and this, these people who talk about God make him sick and bored. 18th one, how did Belinda's pets other than Custard face the pirate? This question is taken from the poem The Tale of Custard the Dragon by Ogden Nash. This poem is a fantasy in verse about Belinda who lives alone in her house with her four pets. All the people of the house pride themselves on their fearlessness and bravery except Custard the dragon who is always looking for a nice safe cage. All the animals other than Custard the dragon used to boast about their bravery and made fun of the dragon because he always cried for a nice safe cage. But when the pirate entered the house, all got scared and ran away and disappeared except Custard the dragon. Custard faced him bravely and swallowed him up. 19th question. How is fog personified by Carl Sandburg? This question is taken from the poem Fog by Carl Sandburg. The poem talks about the fog which is observed during the winter season. The poet has beautifully compared the arrival of the fog with the cat. He has presented the arrival of fog through a meta metaphoric cat. Fog is personified by Carl Sandburg as he thinks the fog is like a cat that comes silently so that no one can sense the arrival. The poet personifies the fog by comparing it with the cat. For example, he says, The fog comes on its little cat feet. It sits looking over harbour on and city, on silent haunches, and then moves on. It means that fog is like a cat. Now the or question is, why is Amanda getting scolded for having chocolate? This question is taken from the poem Amanda by Robert Klein. The poem focuses on the upbringing of a small child whose name is Amanda. It focuses on the struggles which a child is facing. Amanda's mother is very particular about her acne. Therefore, Amanda is getting scolded for having chocolates as previously it had caused her acne. Since acne could cause more number of severe problems and it is necessary to resolve the issue at the early stage, 
Amanda is made conscious about her physical appearance. It is very sad that at such a young age, Amanda is made to worry about natural experiences. The next question answers are for the supplementary reader questions. For that, 20th question is, for what unusual reasons is Bholi sent to school? This question is taken from the lesson Bholi by K.A. Abbas. This story is about Bholi who is a young girl named Sulekha. She was treated with content by everyone for her appearance and lack of intelligence. When she grew up, her marriage was fixed to a greedy middle-aged man but she refused to marry him because of his greediness. The Tehsildar came to inaugurate the primary school for girls in Bholi's village. He asked Ramlal to send his daughters to school to set an example before others. However, Ramlal's wife was of the view that nobody would marry a girl who goes to school. Hence, she opposed sending the girls to school, but Ramlal could not disobey the Tehsildar. This made them send Bholi to school since they were of the view that Bholi's physical drawbacks would always serve as an obstacle in her marriage, so it wouldn't make any difference if she went to school. 21st question, how did E. Bright's mother help him? This question is taken from the lesson, The Making of a Scientist by Robert Peterson. It is a story about the leading scientist Richard E. Bright. He was a curious child right from the beginning years of his life. He had started collecting butterflies in his childhood and by the time he is in second grade, he had already gathered all the 25 species found in his hometown. Richard E. Bright's father died when he was very young. He was everything for his mother and she made it a point to become his best friend. They used to spend all the time together. She used to get him instruments like telescopes, microscopes, cameras, etc. and encouraged him in his desire to study things. His mother would also take him on trips and encourage his spark of learning. 22nd one, Horace Janby was good and respectable but not completely honest. Explain. This question is taken from the lesson A Question of Trust by Horace Danby. This story is about a thief named Horace Danby who gets a taste of his own deeds. He plans accurately his own uh, sorry he plans accurately before attempting any burglary. A lady thief cheated on him and he ended up in prison only to regret the way that a man should not trust anyone, particularly from his own profession. The author describes Horace Danby, a 50-year-old man, as a good and respectable man in the society who earned well by making locks. He was successful enough to afford two helpers. However, his riches were not sufficient to fulfill his desire of having rare and expensive books, which was why he stole once a year. He can't be categorized as a typical thief because he was not a professional who earned his bread by robbing people. He did not harm anyone and neither took any weapon ever. He used to steal some money once a year and purchases the uh, rare and expensive books with the stolen money. Now the or question is, why was Griffin wandering the streets? This question is taken from the lesson Footprints Without Feet by Herbert Wells. It is a thought-provoking story about a scientist named Griffin. The story revolves around the rare formula of invisibility developed by the scientist. He developed a drug and after swallowing it, he was invisible. Though he became invisible, no one felt him physically. Though Griffin was a brilliant scientist, 
He was a lawless person. His landlord disliked him and wanted to throw him out, so he set fire to his house. To avoid getting caught, he removed his clothes and started wandering on the streets sans clothes and money. And here we come to the end of section B. I hope you have understood the complete section. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I'll surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.